these two fractals uh, that I mentioned, they're, they're based on these shapes. I'm going to put them next to the appropriate shapes. And these are, these are interesting shapes in their own right, I think. The reason being is that um, I'm going to call this a, a, a triangular antiprismoid. Don't ask me too many questions, Brady. I'm not sure I could define an antiprismoid. There's a triangle, there's a triangle, there are other triangles, and anti because it's twisted. I'm not going to get into details. This is an imaginary cube. What I'd mentioned earlier, that there are three dimension, three uh, perspectives which make this look square in projection. And actually, if you put it as a shadow, uh, you, you'd see that, which also means it fits inside a box like this. And what Hideki is, is first of all, come up with this shape. Oh, here's another version of an imaginary cube. A tetrahedron does this as well. But this one fits inside the box. As in it fits snugly. Snugly, and from every direction, it looks square. So the shadow would look like exactly like a cube. If you then split this into a fractal version of itself, like basically you make uh, scaled copies like we've been playing with in this game, like you make however many copies at however what ratio, and keep the fractal dimensions same, and you don't rotate those copies, then this would still be an imaginary cube, even if there's smaller copies in there. And you do that ad infinitum, and this is what you get. So this is the fractal built of this triangular antiprismoid. Um, Hideki called it the T fractal, because T for triangle. I think it's also the first letter of his surname. Well done, Hideki. Uh, and this was another imaginary cube. This is a hexagonal bipyramid. You can see the hexagon around the set, and they've just got pyramids, a pyramid coming off each side at a certain ratio of side length so that it fits exactly inside the cube. And again, it's exactly meaning snugly so that every direction you look at, you still get that square projection. Scale copies of that. Here's the H fractal, H for hexagonal. Also the first letter of Hideki's name. Uh, so the H and T fractals are Hideki Tsuiki's uh, imaginary cube fractals, and he's published a lovely paper on the properties of these things, um, and a little presentation box with his fractals with these these three lovely things. Worth checking out if uh, if number five viewers are interested in that sort of thing, and uh, we'll link to Hideki's paper and, and website if that's all right. We will. All right. It's kind of difficult to avoid. Uh, this is not particularly meant to be an equilateral triangle. Uh, let's call this A, B, and C. And I'm going to put a starting point just randomly on the paper. And all we're going to do is roll this lovely dice. Die, dice, who cares? <laughs> to decide which point to go towards. And we're going to, whatever point we choose, we're going to go halfway. So let's call A one or two. So that's our variable X. And what we're trying to decide is this distance here. Let's call it Y. How far should you pace back with the ball and exactly. take your kick? Yeah, so mathematically, we're trying to find a function uh, of X 